Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Fasting and the good manners. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Hurry towards your Lord's forgiveness and a garden as wide as the heavens and earth prepared for the righteous, who give both in prosperity and adversity, who restrain their anger and pardon people. God loves those who do good. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. The holy month of Ramadan is the season of divine graces and blessings. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Your Lord bestows in the day of your lives winds of beneficence, so benefit from them, as one of you may win these winds, and thus he will not suffer any hardship afterwards. The Almighty Allah said about Ramadan, It was in the month of Ramadan that the Quran was revealed as guidance for mankind clear messages giving guidance and distinguishing between right and wrong the prophet peace be upon him said he who observes fasting during the month of ramadan with faith while seeking its reward from allah will have his past sins forgiven in another hadith the prophet peace be upon him said he who observes optional prayer taraweeh prayers throughout ramadan out of sincerity of faith in the hope of earning reward will have his past sins pardoned the prophet peace be upon him also said whosoever performs qiyam during laylatul qadr night of decree with faith and being hopeful of allah's reward will have his former sins forgiven fasting is a practice for teaching morals and values because the acts of worship does bring about their true fruits unless they refine and discipline the, the performer. Therefore, a person whose prayer does not prevent him from indecency and doing wrong, it is as if he has not performed this prayer. A person whose hajj does not prevent him from immorality and disobedience, it is as if he has not performed hajj. A person whose fasting does not prevent him from bad manners, lying, deceit, cheating, practicing monopoly, acquiring unlawful earning, it is as if he has not performed fasting. The Almighty Allah said, keep up the prayer, Prayer restrains outrageous and unacceptable behavior. Allah the Almighty also said, Pilgrimage takes place during the prescribed months. There should be no indecent speech, misbehavior, or quarreling for anyone undertaking the pilgrimage. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever does not give up forged speech and evil actions, Allah is not in need of his leaving his food and drink. Allah will not accept his fasting. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, There are people who fast and get nothing from their fast except hunger, and there are those who pray and get nothing from their prayer but a sleepless night. The Almighty Allah states in His glorious book that the ultimate purpose of fasting is acquiring taqwa, piety. Allah says, You who believe fasting is prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you, so that you may be pious. Taqwa is a comprehensive value that includes all good morals. It is mentioned in the Quran in the, in the context of various religious and ethical values. As the Almighty Allah said, goodness does not consist in turning your face towards east or west. The truly good are those who believe in God and the last day and the angels, the scripture, and the prophets, who give away some of their wealth, however much they cherish, however much they cherish it. So to their relatives, to orphans, the needy, travelers, and beggars, and to liberate those in bondage, 
those who keep up the prayer and pay the prescribed alms, who keep pledges whenever they make them, who are steadfast in misfortune, adversity, and times of danger. These are the ones who are true, and it is they who are aware of Allah. A person who faithfully performs fasting must adhere to the morals of patience, pardoning and forbearance. The Prophet, peace be upon him, described the month of Ramadan as the month of patience, when he said, Fasting during the month of patience, Ramadan, and three days of each month is like fasting for a lifetime. Therefore, it is completely befitting for a fasting person to suppress his anger, pardons those who wronged him, and does good to those who insulted him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Said, when any one of you is observing fasting on a day, he should neither indulge in obscene language nor should he raise the voice. And if anyone reviles him or tries to quarrel with him, he should say, I am observing fast. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, Fast is a shield. When one of you is fasting, he should neither behave in an obscene manner nor foolishly. Fasting is a protection against bad morals, and it is a protection from Allah's punishment on the day of resurrection. Fasting is not a justification for irritation or bad manners. Rather, it should strengthen one's determination and enables him to be forbearant, disciplined, and mannered. All praise is due to Allah, Lord of the worlds. May Allah's peace and blessings be upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, his companions and followers. There is no doubt that fasting renews the feelings of sympathy, charity, interdependence, and compassion. Thus, a person acquires the feelings of generosity, goodness, and feeding the poor. The Almighty Allah described His righteous servants, saying, They fulfill their vows. They fear a day of widespread woes. They give food to the poor, the orphan, and the captive, though they love it themselves, saying, We feed you. We feed you for the sake of God alone. We seek neither recompense nor thanks from you. We fear the day of our Lord, a woefully grim day. So God will save them from the woes of that day, give them radiance and gladness, and reward them for their steadfastness with a garden and silken robes. Once the Prophet was asked, What Islamic traits are the best? The Prophet said, feed the people and greet those whom you know and those whom you do not know. If the reward of solidarity, compassion, generosity, and feeding the poor is great at all times, it is more rewardable in the month of Ramadan. As our Prophet, peace be upon him, said, he who provides a fasting person something with which to break his fast will earn the same reward as the one who was observing the fast without diminishing diminishing in, in any way the reward of the latter. Ibn Abbas said the Prophet, peace be upon him, was the most generous person and he used to become more generous, particularly in the month of Ramadan. How beautiful it is for us to learn from the practice of fasting the lessons of faith and moral values in order to attain the genuine fruits of fasting. Jabir ibn Abdullah said, When you fast, then let your hearing, seeing, and tongue fast, as well from falsehood and sins, and avoid harming your neighbors. Rather, you must have dignity and calmness on the day of your fasting. May Allah protect our country, Egypt, and all other countries of the world.